Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Klaus's Wunderstrafanstalt. Prison Architect. I'm fixing up some walls and a couple little things I forgot about. And let's also go ahead and put in a new cleaning cupboard because I did say that I wanted to do that. So we'll place you here. And I did also think that maybe we should add in a new water boiler. So that we'll be able to provide hot water to this general vicinity. Yeah, it might work. It might be helpful. We'll, we'll kind of see. We also need to pick up a new grant. And one thing we could do here is the maximum security infrastructure implementation. We get $20,000 in advance and $20,000 more when we're done. Increase the size of our security force. Unlock body armor, tasers, and CCTV monitors throughout the prison. We're already working on some surveillance and stuff. Wouldn't be bad to go ahead and unlock tasers and body armor as well. What's this taser rollout? Extends the taser program so my regular guards can carry tasers too. Could be kind of useful. I mean, you never know. But yeah, once this is, uh, surveillance is done, we'll probably add in some CCTV capabilities and see how that works. It looks like we do have a guard operating the door control system. And what is it currently connected to? How can I tell? Maybe I don't know. Maybe I have to connect it and he's connected to nothing right now. I kind of figured it would be allowed to connect to the doors. Those doors, but apparently not. Why, why is it connecting to, like, a power station? You know, that's where I'm confused. Maybe it's under logistics? Deployment? Intelligence? Dangers stolen from informants? Gangs? Ooh. Oh, interesting. Okay, so the tattoos actually will tell you what gang they are a part of. That I didn't know. That's interesting. Mmm... Logic circuits and stuff like that. Door servo. Place a servo over a door you wish to... Ah! Okay, so in order to control them, we have to place a servo. So if I place it here, for example... Does this... Does this work? I can't really tell, but we're trying this. Let's put in a door servo there. And see if by placing that, we'll be able to connect up the door control for the road gates and let cars out as soon as they have been uploaded. If so, that's actually kind of an interesting addition to the game. I kind of like that. But it's also a little bit irritating and confusing. Hmm. Well, nonetheless. We should go ahead and place up some more family cells, by the way. Let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, la -la -la. Family cell goes here, here, and here. And if we go to Quick Build, Clone, we want to copy this, and then I rotate twice. It didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. That said, it doesn't really matter, so we'll just go ahead and place them as is. It's fine. Just build out those cells. Uh, for cleaning cupboards, we could probably do some logistics and assign some new jobs. Oh, wait, I need a door here, don't I? Right, uh, let's get a jail door. Place you here. Is there a jail door over this cleaning cupboard, or is it a staff door? No, it's a regular door. You know what, cancel that jail door. We'll place just a regular door here. That way our prisoners can easily enough access it. Hopefully it'll be okay. Look at all these ladies go. I know, the shower... Pay no attention to the broken wall. It'll be okay. Just don't flood the area out too much, alright? Alright, thank you for your understanding and your patience. I greatly appreciate it. All right, these cells should be getting built out fairly well. I don't know. My, my, work, my workers are really slow because they're trying to build this wall, but it seems like they're not actually doing a dang thing for this wall, you know? There's a notebook page here. What's this? Workman job priority. You cannot directly set the priority of a workman, but we could allow a high-level control. Build walls, lay flooring, haul materials, install objects, plumbing, and electrical wiring. Huh. I mean, these basically are just, like, developer's notes and stuff, right? But that's kind of cool. Interesting. All right, well, moving on. Mm. doop a doop doop a doop doop 87 prisoners right now. If we can get it up to 100 capacity, we would be able to finish off a grant, which would make me happy. If we just built some more bunk beds, that probably would get the job done. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and start actually building out some foundation here. I did want to do this, right? So, might as well do it. Like so. Okay. Now, piping isn't done yet. What? I thought I heard like a little radio sound, which is like someone calling in for backup, but I guess I didn't. 
That's just me being crazy. Look how much power we drain in this freaking prison. It's ridiculous. We're only on, like, episode 12, but I feel like we've got this, like, huge area we're working with. Um, for logistics, nope, for deployment, max sec only. That's where we're placing these guys. Maximum security only. One prisoner is still unable to be assigned to a cell. It's this lady with a... Okay, it's this lady with a baby. Can we please finish this? Can you please prioritize this, um, this door so we can just get this lady over to a cell? She's been waiting for days, maybe even weeks. It's just, it's just not, it's just not appropriate. She's been so patient, and what have we done? These walls aren't even done. It's so frustrating. Come on, guys. These prisoners are doing their job. What are my Wally workies up to? Where even are they? I don't see them working on the wall. I guess I finished off this section of wall. There's just one big corner missing. Whatever. Hey, a trowel. We found someone big digging a tunnel. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. You know, one thing we could do to try and make our prisoners a little bit happier is we actually could put some windows in, too. You know, to glimpse the sun through. Now, the windows have always seemed a little weird to me because it looks like they're only on one side of the wall. But if we do this, you know, maybe we can... Maybe we can grant a little bit of sunshine to these poor babies who are growing up in a terrible environment. Yeah, we'll just do that for now. It'll be okay. Sorry, Patton. Didn't mean to interrupt your shower. Uh, for the rooms, we never did expand out the yard, did we? Where's yard? There's yard. Expand you out like so. I think we need to get some more phones as well, because I've seen people using a lot of those phones to get some family time in, but I don't think we ever have enough. So let's just add in a couple more. Now, we're still 18 hours away from being able to get this visitation done. We have one person in solitary confinement. 46 families are waiting to visit. Yeah, and I'm not allowed to do anything about it. Blame the mayor. Blame that elected official. I didn't do it. I wasn't planning on it. Let's go ahead and demolish these walls as well. We're going to expand this out in preparation for a huge influx of visitation privileges later. New utilities needed. Uh, let's get some piping. Like so. Doop, doop, and doop. Okay. Water boiler is being installed, which means you can finally have some hot water. Of course, it needs electricity, doesn't it? Everything needs electricity. Did we ever figure out that door servo? Is it working? Oh, it needs power. Okay. Um, utilities, electricity, power. And then maybe I can connect this thing up. That would be very useful if so. I'd love to do it. Hmm. Make a little bit of money on some exports. Not enough, but a little bit. Come on. Come on, install the final thing. It's like one more cable. Isn't there? Hang on. Utilities? Cable? No, oh, apparently you have to have it like right on this part of the door. Oh, that seems stupid. Okay. Now! Now! Can we connect to the door servo? Ooh, wait, yes. Yes, we can. So in theory, this now controls that. Oh, this is a really cool feature. I mean, it's a little bit tedious to work with, but it's cool. I like it. Uh, door servo is a utility, so if we place one here. Um, I should also place one here, I guess, to control kind of the main entrance. And... Let's place one... How does this work? Do I rotate it? Can I do this? Wait, hang on. Once installed, the door will be opened when the servo itself is triggered. They can be chained together, so when the first one opens, it will trigger the later ones. Ensure the metal gear is no directly above the door. See, I don't understand if they mean, like, place it, like, literally like this. Like this? Maybe like this? I, mm. Let's experiment with this a little bit. It's not super obvious to me. I mean, it seems to have worked for this. At least mildly. So we'll test it. Okay? We're going to test things out. This is a learning experience now. Uh, oh, also, we wanted to install some CCTV cameras, didn't we? Let's see. CCTV monitor. This is what we're looking for. Place you like so. Looks like something from the Starship Enterprise. Uh, these things can get pretty expensive, though, but we're going to get some CCTV monitors. We'll place one. Uh, where do we want to place it? Place one to focus on this kitchen area. 
Kind of like this. We want to focus on visitation. High traffic areas. The common room. Um, we don't have anything in the chapel, so let's view that. Let's make sure we're paying attention to the workshop. Um, library, shop, and what did I put here? Mail room? Don't have anyone supervising that either. This will be okay for now. Who stole a stun baton? And where did you get it? I wasn't even aware we had those. There's, like, so much smuggled stuff going into these prisons. Like, seriously, who thought that was a good idea? Should we install more sprinklers at some point, too, by the way? You know, in case there's a tragic fire. Oh, right. What's wrong with this? We need uh, more CCTV monitors. Well, you mean this thing, right? Yeah, we're building that right now. I need to finish off these capacitors because I keep getting this feeling that we're going to, like, suddenly run out of power. So let's spend the money to do that now. Did we ever pick up the grants? Yeah, let's pick up max infrastructure implementation. $20,000 more dollars for us to work with. I have no doubt we're going to need some electricity. Like so. There we go. And otherwise, looking okay. Did we finish off the servers? Yes, we did. Does it automatically connect these up? No, it does not. Okay, now we have access to that. You. Is there another servo built here yet? No, it's queued. What about here? This door servo? I don't think this one actually... I don't think this one actually is placed correctly. I think we need to move it one more down. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of figuring this out. What if we place it like that? Is that what we need? That would make some sense to me. Like, actually attached, overlapping the door. Hmm. Well, one way or another, we know it's going to need some power. So, let's do that. Okay. So, CCTV cameras are being installed in all sorts of good places. We have a lot of people patrolling the minimum uh, the middle security area, the normal security area, so I'm not sure if we need a lot to, like, guard the common room and stuff here or not, maybe. We definitely should get something up here because no one is monitoring this area. In fact, we should actually have a guard deployed here at all times. Why is the cell not okay? No canteens accessible by the cell. Oh, well... Uh, okay. I guess one thing we could do is actually get rid of... Okay. So the problem is this is a maximum security area, but we have not given access to a canteen. So what I need to do, I think, is place a large jail door here and here and not make this a normal security area. And that way they'll actually have a place they can walk through because right now they're kind of stuck. I think. Pretty sure that's how it's going to work. Let's hire some more staff, by the way. There we go. Oh, grant completion. What do we get? Oh, we finished off our maximum security implementation thing. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Awesome. What are we missing here? Are we missing a door? Probably missing a door. Let's demolish some walls. All of these. I'm going to place some maximum security... Uh, sorry. Solitary confinement cells over here. More minimum security. And now, it should be able to build itself. Yes? No? Yes? There we go. Waiting on this one. Okay. Good. Let's demolish these walls. Didn't intend for those to be there. Cool. All right. Brick walls. We will place here and here and here. Doop a doop doop a doop 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 and doop. Okay. And for solitary doors, one here, 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 here. Probably should build some more bathrooms over here, like we did before. So we'll put in some new bathroom stalls. We did five before. One, two, three, four, five. Door, one, two, three, four, five. Turlets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And of course, we're going to need a lot more piping and electrical work, like so. Pretty soon, I imagine, we're going to need, um, uh, what am I trying to say? A new power generator. That would make sense to me. Let's go ahead and get these large pipes going. Uh, place it like this for now, I guess. And you guys will all kind of tie up like so. Doop. Actually, we don't even need it like this. We can probably be more efficient if we do piping like this. I don't think they all need their individual pipes. As long as within, they're within a certain radius, I think they're okay. So, right. Apparently these CCTV cameras still aren't hooked up. 
So I think I need to connect these as well, like we did for other things. So we'll place one here. Yeah. You. Here. You. Here. You. Here. Now, is there a maximum to how many they're allowed to monitor? Or they just kind of keep flipping through them? I'm not sure. We're going to try as many as we need to, and if we have to have more security monitors later, we can do that. Uh, I wanted to build one in the workshop, but it hasn't been installed yet. So let's just sort of see if that works. Oh, look. Sure enough. We actually have cameras totally providing vision of this area. Oh, see, now that's so cool. That is so helpful and awesome. I love it. And I love everything about it. Okay, we didn't want more visitor booths. Um, prisoner, visitor, make sure we don't mix these up. Oh. Well, apparently this thing's in the way. I was unaware of that. I apologize. We'll have to move it. Visitor booth. Okay, one goes there, there. We're gonna have to cycle all this stuff down, aren't we? Yeah, I'm afraid so. It's fine. We don't have, intend on having any visitors for a while because of the mayor's orders, because he's a tyrant. Horrible man, that mayor. And if you actually ever play the campaign of the game, you'll understand why. We apparently don't have enough fridges or something. I'm guessing. Let's actually consider dismantling some of these serving tables and moving them all down as well. Because, uh... Right now, I feel like we don't have enough space in the kitchen. We really do need to expand this out. But for now, our workers are still working on the frickin' wall. And it's a long journey home. I'm gonna go ahead and actually, like, cancel these for now. Walls. Cancel. Cancel all the walls for now. When I have nothing else important for you guys to work on, then you can worry about it. But for now, let's not. These CCTV cameras are going to be super duper useful. This one apparently can see through the wall. I was watching that earlier. How's that happening? Nobody knows. My cash flow is just really insignificant. I mean, I know it's supposed to be like $6,000 a day, but it just doesn't feel like much, does it? Let's go to deployment. Okay, this area, this area is not specified for normal security. So now... Our maximum security uh, prisoners actually do have a place to go, which is good. Let's go ahead and get rid of this planning stuff, blah, blah, blah. All right. All right. So, if you can please dismantle some of these things, Mr. Worker Man. Oh, do we actually get this thing to work? Uh, connect here. Connect. Is it installed yet? Uh, they're still installing the servo. And there. So now, if you guys are trying to leave from the forestry area, I think they're going to have to let you out. Of course, we need power first, so... What do we just... Do we just place... Yeah, we place cable. We're fine. Chopping down all these trees, getting me some wood that I can use to make some carpentry stuff, blah, blah, blah. It'll be great. Cutting up the sheet metal into license plates and stuff like that. Uh, apparently, I've miscalculated how this works. We're going to need to rearrange this. So these saw, uh, saws here aren't going to do anything for me right now. We should get rid of this and replace it with another saw. That might be okay, actually. So we only have three carpenter tables, but it'll be okay. Early release prisoner reward. I didn't know parole could get you more money. <gasps> That's amazing. We should definitely do that. Definitely should do more parole. Parole hearings. 15 people in queue. One finished, one passed. Congratulations. That's t <laughs> that's worth a ton of money to me. It's awesome. Okay, for the Foundation Education Program, it's still working. It's taking forever to be done, though. Let's see. Um, stop this. Stop this. Workshop safety. Carpentry apprenticeship. Kitchen safety and hygiene. Let's go ahead and start the behavioral therapy. Now that I know... That uh, if you actually can get people to get parole through, hopefully, education therapy and stuff, then uh, turns out you get a freaking ton of money. We didn't install these serving tables because I just realized that our kitchen, our canteen no longer has them, and as a result, it uh, automatically fails, which is kind of bad. So let's place these before our prisoners get cranky. One, two. We'll do that for the time being. Uh, can we please speed this up? How do I... Okay, Control left click, prioritize these, and we're getting a call from Mayor Calvin Heller, just as we're supposed to be ending up this video. We've completed our security review of the visitation process, and visitation rooms can now be re-added to your prison if you choose. Yay! Aren't you people so happy? 
Demolish walls. I already did that. Where are my workers? Where are you people? What are you doing? For real, though. Where are you and what are you doing? They're building something out. Oh, they're building all the stupid solitary confinement areas. I think we need to hire some more staff. Workmen, place, 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 place. Four more workers. Please get these serving tables before people riot. No, but for real, I'm begging you. Where'd you go? Where'd they go? The four, they just, they, they, they're gone. They disappeared. They're gone. Well, these are going to be a lot of really hungry uh, prisoners and not a lot to do. And they just missed their eating period. So they all just missed out on their meal. Fortunately, they're minimum security and they're less likely to get angry at me, but... For, for, for real, though, build the gosh dang serving tables. I know they're here in storage somewhere. Is this really so hard, guys? I told you to prioritize it. What's the point of the prioritization button if it doesn't actually prioritize the dang things? Quickly, please. Thank you. Serve food. Jesus. These are the kinds of mistakes that lead to deaths. As we have had too many, and we are all too familiar with the many... Women that I cannot remember their names who have died in Klaus's Wunder, Straf, and Stout. All right, visitation area we can finally put back in. Where to go? Uh, visitation, visitation, visitation. Excellent. Let's go ahead and deploy a guard here again, as we used to do. And now families can come and visit the prisoner scum that we have in Klaus's Wunder, Straf, and Stout. All right, thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button if you did. Leave a comment with your suggestions, and subscribe if you have not already. We're going to try expanding this area out to its completion. We'll finish off the minimum security area. We'll make sure everything's running smooth like butter. And then I'm not sure what else to work on, because we're more or less done with our grants, or most of them. We're kind of sitting around waiting for education stuff to be done. So uh, if you guys have any recommendations, I would be very interested in hearing them. And in the meantime, I'll see you guys next time in Klaus's Wunderstrafenstadt. Bye-bye.